This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Abin Resources, Mr. Jim Pettit. Jim, how are you this morning? I'm great. Thanks a lot, Gerardo. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. Listen, you had a news release this morning. The market, didn't, being impatient and being a tough market, didn't receive it. Uh, well, the stock is down about 18%, though it has recovered um, on over 6 million shares in volume. Let me read the headline. Let's talk about the release because there's a lot of good stuff in the release that I don't think is being noticed by the market. Now, the headline reads, Abin intersects additional shallow high-grade gold mineralization at the north boundary zone of the Forest Kerr project in BC's Golden Triangle. So, me being Captain Obvious here, the market wanted longer widths of mineralization and they wanted higher grades you know you set yourself up i think with that first drill hole which was absolutely spectacular hard to duplicate that but let's let's talk about the good things in the release jim well absolutely it's it's the fact that there's mineralization there and it's good mineralization i i I, hey when we go into something like this and we're not absolutely 100 percent on the structure and the controls you know, we look for the mineralization, and I always look for anything over one one gram. That just tells you you're in an area that's just full of it, and we've got lots of that. And uh, the first hole, yes, we we knew where we were drilling and and where we had left off the year before. Um, where we what we did this year, we stepped out um, 25, 30 meters to the northeast and to the southwest, and to uh, behind you know the directly north of where we drilled last year and came up with right away from drilling from straight north coming in from behind and below that was that first hole and we could see the gold so we rushed it and we told everybody that we were rushing this in and uh, and then we got behind the backlog with everything else and uh, just came out with these latest results and i've gotten more phone calls about how positive it is than I have about the negativity. What we've seen in the market today is just people banking on us hitting more of the high grade. And that just that's just doesn't happen all the time. Um, you know, generally what it is is you you're in a you're in a one specific tight area and you can step out of it at ten meters, five meters, and you won't you could possibly hit nothing. Um but that's the nature of the beast in this game. I mean, Eskate Creek was discovered on the 109th hole. But what got them started was a really good set of holes at the very beginning. Um, you know, but that's the nature of the game. And uh, what I like is the recovery right now. It's uh, It shows you that, you know, okay, the people that are in this and understand it, uh, the realities of it are, are stepping back in. And I think they also know that we, you know, we, we're cashed up now. We, we don't really need to raise money in the off season. Let's talk about that, Jim. What does the cash position look like? Obviously, you just welcomed Eric Sprott as a new major shareholder. What, what does the treasury mm-hmm. look like right now? Because I know last year the market knew you were going to have to raise money and it front ran you and, and it drove the, the share price down quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it absolutely did. No, we, we've got over $7 million in the treasury now. Uh, about 7.2 to be exact. And, you know, we had raised 5 million uh, just in the last month and a half and uh, based on those early results. And we had a lot of warrants taken down. So we sort of self-financed to the tune of about a million and a half dollars because we had a lot of uh, cheaper warrants anywhere from 7 cents to 12 cents. So those all got taken down when the stock was, you know, riding really high. That's always good for the Treasury. So, you know, between the financing and the warrants and what I had left over from last year, yeah, we're sitting at about 7.2 right now. Now, you're also awaiting additional assay results from, I believe it's 27 holes. Is that accurate? Yep. Yeah, we've got 27 as of today. Um, You know, could end up being more. Uh, You're still drilling. Um, And it just depends on, you know, how many more holes we think we can get away with before the weather turns and we run out of space because we've only got so many pads permitted. So, you know, the pad, the the drill sits on the pads. It's in a very environmentally sensitive area. So the drill has to be on the pads and you apply for permits for pads. And, uh, you know, we're kind of at the getting too close to the limit of our pads, but uh, we're doing all right. 
Excellent. Now, another another important factor, you you really need to identify the fault structures, right? Because the, the, these are the structures that are going to have the potential to host that high grade mineralization. I believe you completed an airborne mag survey. When are you expected to get the results there? Um, that's coming. Uh, should have it by the end of the month, actually September. So you know, another week, probably. Um, that was flowing over a month ago, just over a month ago. Um, which is, that's a good thing. We, we had partial coverage from an older, uh, geophysical survey, but now we've got a, a, uh, this brand new one that's 50 meter spacings and it's gone east, west instead of north, south, which will give us better exposure of any potential faults. The area is full of faulting. Um, you know, we know we're, we're looking at about four different ages of mineralization and ro- in placement. So, um, there's no shortage of faulting, um, we're trying to find the, the main ones, the ones that would act as the driver and coming off of the main curve fault because that curve fault runs right up the length of our property, which is 50 kilometers long. You've got a lot of these sub faults and splays that come off and uh, we're looking for the big ones. Fantastic. Well, Jim, I appreciate you taking the time once again. Thank you very much for coming on. You're cashed up. You have assays in the lab that you're expecting. You're still drilling. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Well, I'm, you know, as far as most of the market goes right now, um, we're in a, not a great market for resources, but we're in a good market for these types of deals. And the market also, you can see today, the trading, um, they see it gets to a level and it's a buy. And that, that, that this morning struck me very clearly that it was 20 cents. Um, so we'll see where we go from here, but we've got more more coming. So I think it's it's probably going to stabilize at a little bit higher price here, and then away we go again. Fantastic. Well, hopefully we'll have you back on when we start getting those assays trickling back in again. You bet. Thanks. Right. Thank you, Jim.